Hello everybody, today we're playing uh, Hoi 4, but Country Roulette, that's right, Country Roulette Hoi 4. I'm going to choose a nation uh, randomly, and then we'll play for eh, play for six months and we'll move somewhere else. Uh, so to start off, I'm just going to choose this a bunch of times. And we are going to play Bhutan, there we go, here we are, we are Bhutan to start with. And uh, yeah, we're going to play Bhutan for six months and then move on to somebody else. Now there's not a huge amount we can do as, uh, as Bhutan. But uh, I think something we can do is start them down the path of communism. That's right, we're going to take old Bhutan here and, and, and show them what it's like to be communist. Um, but apart from that, I don't think I can get a huge amount done in 180 days playing as Bhutan. They don't exactly uh, have a formidable army. Um, or any kind of formidable force, to be honest. The Grand Army of Bhutan. Look at them. They've oh my god, they've come out fucking worse than green. I mean, worse than train. They've come out fucking green. Uh, I've already got sixty civil days. Go. I might have to up it to uh, three hundred and sixty, but I don't want to be stuck playing Bhutan for a year. So I think I'm going to leave it at one hundred and eighty for now. And maybe later on, when things get more interesting, we'll we'll pump it up to to three hundred and sixty. But for now. We've got just enough to start Bhutan on the path of communist. Why can't I? I've played less than 90 support. I don't think I'll get that. But we do have a great army. Great Bhutanese army. Look at them. Collect division ethos is done. We're not going to live long enough to see them go, you know, communist. But we can certainly start them on the path. Oh, Bhutan. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> I hope this. I hope this comes back to bite somebody in the ass later on. What have they got? Oh, they've got no men living in these in this province at all. Right, we got four days left. I've opened up the communist regime in Bhutan, and we are going to. Where have we gone? Next door. <laughs> For fuck's sake! That's right. We've gone to their their great neighbour. Liberty Foss. No, 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 good sir. Collectivism. Come on. Communist. <laughs> Do you know what? This is way this is way too too short. I'm gonna I'm gonna boost it to three hundred and sixty Ah, we do it on the next we do it on the next one. On well, the next country we're boosting it to a year because hundred and eighty days is way too short to do anything. Um I'm already on day fifteen, for God's sake. Or fifteen days left. I'm gonna open up the liquid discourse. Communism is rising in both Bhutan and Nepal. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of communist countries. Oh! Oh, it's, it's weird. It's gone weird. Never mind. If I do 360. Okay, we're staying in the pool for a bit longer. A year, two, a year and a half. Because, uh... Actually, no, do you know what? Fuck it. We are... A nationalist Spain. There we are. We are nationalist Spain. Oh my god, we're nationalist Spain at war. Finally, some action. The war is going very well for us. We're sinking their convoys. They're, we're beating their soldiers. Uh, I want to get some... Where are we preparing an offensive to? In the south, I hope. Because uh, it's failed. Right, prepare an offensive. We need to we need to kick these guys out of here. And, uh, and back to the fucking shoreline where they belong. The bastards. Oh god, the communists. The, the anarchists, even. Not the communists, it's the goddamn anarchists. Hang on, we might be able to nick Barcelona before they can reinforce it. No, fuck. Oh, wait, yeah, we could 100% take Barcelona and just kick them out of the game. Day one, oh, no, they've got. Don't fucking run. Oi, you lot. Down here and take this. Come on, on the double. Alright, we've almost taken Barcelona. Almost kicked those anarchist bastards out of the country. Um. I don't know if I want to scrub over there, we'll get some artillery upgrades, why not? Why not? Come on boys, push through. Take Barcelona, how's the war going down here? Good, have I got another offensive yet? Not yet, still preparing an offensive. Um, yeah, we should be able to knock them out, come on lads, just push through. Come on, they've got no equipment and no organisation, how are they still holding Barcelona? There's not even a fort here. Is that not them capitulated? No? 
Okay, well then we'll just ra we'll just you know we'll round them up. It's fine by me. Got no problem rounding up anarchists. Okay, well we've almost wrapped up the Spanish Civil War. We're kicking their asses out. The uh, nationalists will win, like always. But uh, I've only got twelve days left until we piss off somewhere else. Uh, can I screw them up in any way? Can I stick them on a stupid thing? Can I choose a thing they won't be able to do? Or get off of? No, I think it's all just... Ah, fuck it. Fuse the parties. Win the Civil War. Oh, look at that. Huge encirclement. Great job by me, if I must say so myself. Really an incredible job. Can I at least see the fall of Madrid? No. No, I cannot. Because now, I'm Denmark. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alright, Denmark, lay it on me. What are you... What? Why have you... Fuck this. Get the... Get the fucking... What? Where are these guys? No, fuck these islands. They don't matter. You spend all your time defending Denmark and the fucking Faroe Islands. No wonder Germany stormed through your border so easily, you fucking idiots. I'm just looking at what they've done. Why did they waste political power on air guys, naval dudes, and a tank designer? You're, you're not going to be able to make a tank, Denmark. You need to focus on the here and now, mate. You don't have an economy. You need forts on this border. Fuck your ships. You don't need them. You're not going to be able to defend against the, uh, the you know, the German navy. You need the manpower because you need units because you need to defend your ports. You need to defend your ports and defend your borders. So stick forts here and here, and then stick guys on your fucking, you know, on your ports. But no, let's waste money and effort on, you know, making planes and tanks and boats. Are they making fucking... I haven't looked at them. They're just making... Okay, yeah, yeah, they were making a bunch of planes. I've just stuck it down to, you know, guns. Because there is no need for planes at all. Well, I've done my best for you, Denmark. I, I don't think you're going to survive. What is with this German flag? What is with this German portrait? What mod do I have installed that does that? Anyone else changed? Like France is the same. Slovakia, Hungary, Yugoslavia. Is it just Germany? What mod is that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what mod, what mod is that? What mod is... Oh, god. you're alright Benito, you've, you've never looked better mate. Is it the Axis powers? No, Franco's the same. Hang on, where's Japan? Hirohito's still got his seven gins. Hang on, is that for the AI? Oh, AI modifier, cool ally. Oh. Crazy. Um, so it's just Germany... Oh, I'm moving. I'm France now. Good. Uh, it's just Germany and Italy. That's all it is. God. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, extend the Maginot. Get that bad boy out. Um, hang on. Reorganize avi. Oh, fuck your aviation program. The biggest f the AI don't use planes besides to obviously knock your planes out of the sky. But the AI do not use planes for. Air invasions, god damn it. Where is Extend the Maginot? Where is Extend the Maginot? Ah, oh, you went down fucking firepower, you idiots. Oh, well. Fuck it, have we got anything that adds civilian factories? Uh, a couple, yeah, but not not a huge amount of things that add civilian factories, you fucking degenerates. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, fuck you, France. We're gonna do construction engineering, and we're gonna just build forts. Fuck you, and fuck your focus tree. Oh, uh, Bhutan and Nepal have gone communist. Uh, you've got the communist state of Nepal, and you've got the, uh, Union of Red Dragons. Which is fucking sick for a country that has a default focus tree. But, uh, that's cool. You know, little communist Bhutan and communist- That's not- Look, they're gonna grow into their own people. Without my guidance. <laughs> oh, that's blessing. That's so- that's so cute.
Little big turn in the pool over there. Communist bros. Turns out playing country uh, in 1939 and for like a year is incredibly boring. You don't do anything. There's nothing I can do. I can start focus trees and stuff, but there's not like a huge amount I can do to like prevent France from exploding in, uh, in 1939. Because by the time the World War II rolls around, I'm out of here. You know, I can give them defensive technologies, I can build forts. But in 157 days, I'm I'm gone. Uh, we might be able to see the start of the war. We might get some action. Hey, we're at war with the Germans. It's August 1939, but we're at war with them. Look at that. Look at that, fighting against our borders. Oh, we're in World War II. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to hazard a guess that this is the last time we're going to be in World War II. And the next time we see the war will be, I don't know, from Ecuador or some shit. The capitulation of uh, Belgium really fucked my uh, my front lines. And now, now well, basically now I don't have one. And the Germans are going to take Paris. But that doesn't matter, because I'm out of here in 46 days. Wait, if they take Paris and I capitulate before I change, does that end the game? Well, no, I become free France, and I I just become free France. I don't. But that's a thing. If I'm somebody who doesn't become another country, does that just end the game? At what point does it end? Like, is it just like, okay, I'm exiled, right? Uh. Oh, let us merge with Britain. <laughs> And we will we'll play as as Vichy France. I, I don't think merging with Britain did anything, but fuck it, we're Vichy France now. Uh, emergency powers to Petain. Um, no, fuck you. We're gonna go democratic. Wait, does that reset? Oh, it did reset. Okay, well, in that case, goodbye, Vichy France. I fucking knew it. I fucking told you. We were. I said Ecuador, but I knew like we were gonna immediately come down to the fucking to the South America. I fucking knew we would. Fuck you. <laughs> Never mind. The game then kicked my tire back in, and it kicked me out of Peru and maybe Manchuco. Hey, we're Manchuco. Look at that. We've got two dudes. Two boys! Where are they at? Where are they fighting? Oh, let them go! Oh, my Chuko! Oh, what a great... Why does someone go down strategic destruction? What a great path! Wait, oh, hang on. Is it broken again? Oh, no. Stop! Stop! I'm Bolivia. Hang on. I need to fix this. 365 days. Okay, I'm Bolivia. I get to be Bolivia. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I'm just, I told you. I told us twice now. I'm not going to leave this goddamn continent. Right, well, I figured, you know, there's nothing better to do down here, so we'll just go to war with Paraguay for no apparent reason. We lose the uh, neutral foreign aspect. Can I now create a faction? No, they don't want to be a faction with me. I don't think this is going to work very well, actually. Paraguay actually have a decent amount of troops. Or at least they have decent manpower. Oh, their dumbasses only have two units. Oh, no, they've got three units. For fuck's sake, I thought they only had two. Damn it. I thought they only had two units. I thought I could cheese them into... How many units do they have? Six to nine. Fuck off, do you have six to nine units, you, you bastard. Okay, I think all of their... Ooh, what was that? Okay. I think all of their divisions are now stuck in the north. No! How many fucking divisions does this country have? Are you telling me they've got this many fucking divisions? You're taking the piss. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Got an idea, Joe. How do they have this many fully fucking reinforced armies? Jesus. What do they do? Just build shitty units all goddamn day? Alright, I think I finally broke through there. Oh, of course, they've just got fucking dudes all over. But, on the plus side, they're now encircled. Push in. Take them out. Fuck them up. Defend, defend, defend. You need to take this bit so they can't reunite themselves. Fuck them. 
Kill them all. Well, I mean, I've definitely fucked Bolivia. Uh, we were doing alright, to be fair. We had them encircled, and then... Peru just pulled 12 more fucking divisions out of their asshole. I guess it comes with being communist. You can just pull divisions out of fucking thin air. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is basically done for Bolivia. I don't see them winning. Uh, I couldn't take these mountain boys. There was like five divisions on the mountain that I couldn't take. But um, that won't matter for long. Because in, what, 27 days I'm going elsewhere. So fuck you, Bolivia. You suck. I tried this like fun, and you sucked at that as well. You can't do anything enjoyable, because you're a shitty fucking heli bastard. With no men. Nothing good going on. What are you? You're, you're, you're royalist, basically. Look at this fucking dude. What kind of face is this? Of course the Chad was going to win. Uh, but no, I, I don't fucking know. Well, do you know what? Get nukes. Why not? Go on, Bolivia. Try and get fucking nukes. See what you can do with that information. I can't break them, like, at all. They, they've got... The terrain is just wank down here. Oh, Trotsky's dead. Please, take me somewhere fresh and new. And, no, actually, no, before I go... Fuck you, Bolivia. You son of a bitch. Fuck your army. Fuck your country. I'm out. Peace out. Who am I? Come on. Somebody good. For fuck's sake, are you taking the piss? Alright, uh, well, the rest of the Jap the rest of the Chinese nations can hold the line up north. I'm gonna gather my army and try and push through down the south, break them up, get a nice encirclement going, and then push. Uh yeah, cool. Alright, fuck the communists, I don't care. Um Patrol? I thought it was I thought that's a rice. Put rice controls. It's price controls. Um. Hmm. Huh. Um, oh, this one. Oh, national liberation. That's what we want. We want core territory attacks. We're doing well. We're pushing back. Um. Not so much in the north. But uh, that's the AI's problem. Down south, though, we're doing alright. Pushing back. Gathering all our forces together was a pretty good strategy. They could kind of hold the line because it's a river. Um. It's a big fucking river. Whereas, you know, that gives us the opportunity to kind of gather our forces, push back. Look at that. We've basically cleared the south. Oh. We've almost cleared the south of the jet. We'll, we'll turn around in a sec. Once we clear this bit, we'll turn around and help them. Turns out, a bit more of an immediate threat than I thought it would be, to be honest. So we've had to turn around and kind of kick the Japanese out. Because otherwise, we're just going to fail. This is going terribly wrong. I don't know what the Japanese... I mean, the Chinese are doing. They had... Like, no divisions. They've got no guns. they got a million manpower, but I don't have the weapons to train anybody. I just can't hold. We're just, we're just getting our asses kicked. God, this war is going terrible. We, we started to reclaim land, but now we're just getting our asses kicked across all the borders. The US are involved now, but I don't think they're going to do anything particularly useful. I don't know what these these guys are doing like there's no troops run for the capital like run for the oh wait no never mind you can't run for the capital <laughs> yes lads run get all the victory points maybe they'll surrender you can get some encirclements going you can encircle some of these boys come off no just sitting there we're doing it we're pushing them out up north they're getting their asses kicked still oh, they've got lots of equipment though they're doing alright on equipment but they're um and they're holding actually, we're not doing too bad. Attrition's kind of kicking in. We're not doing too too well on the eh, Some of our boys are alright. Some. Not all of them, but some are okay. Um, only 25 days left until we... Alright, we got six days left. Where are we going? Where are you taking us? Take us away. Four. Three. Two. Two. One. We are... Who are we? Come on, someone good. Come on, someone good. I will... Oh, fucking New Zealand. We're being Navy invaded. I'll take it. Fuck it. What have we got? Why do they... Why do the AI do this? Why do they make a million goddamn... Armies? They've got seven units. Oh, would you look at that? Our boys arrived in China, ready to spill some Japanese blood. 
And they, they do fucking nothing, because they're actually useless. Oh my, what are these divisions as well? What am I... Fuck's sake, New Zealand. Oh, I can't. I'm not playing fucking New Zealand. I'm not playing it for a year. Get me out of here. Fucking Tanatuva. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Give me somewhere else. Give me something good. Peru. Fucking Peru. How many... Oh, they got a decent amount of units. Fine, we'll play Peru. We'll go to war with Chile or something. Well, my game crashed. Uh, and it's... Oh, God, it's four in the morning. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Country Roulette is... It's enjoyable if you play nations that aren't ass, like New Zealand, or Bhutan, or Nepal. Fuck you, New Zealand. Fuck you. You shit house. What kind of fucking troops are these? Hmm? So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today, because uh, it crashed and it's, it's already four in the morning. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.